Hey everyone, this is Ebony P. That's me and I'm back with another video for you guys today. But before I get into this, because you already know what's about from the title, I'm going to need for you to hit that subscribe button real quick before we get started and that bell button so y'all can be notified when I put up any type of videos in which I am um, kicking out these bangers back to back. Do you hear me? So I'm going to need y'all to do that. Hit that like button and I'm going to give you a minute. All right, let's move on with the video, shall we? So, yes, as you guys know, there are crazy things going on in this world, okay? First of all, we're going to just touch on this one first, okay? This is what this video is going to be about. In the DR, or the Dominican Republic, you guys, 10 Americans have died mysteriously from who knows what, because that's what mysterious means, right? So here are a few people that have died. I'm going to show you a few pictures. This is um, Joseph Allen. He is what well, was 55 years old. I'm on my phone here. And then you have Layla Cox, which is 53 years old. And then this couple, um, Nathan Nathaniel Holmes. I'm sorry, and Cynthia Day, um, 63 and 49 years. old. Oh, you guys. And there's more. Like I said, there's 10 people. There were a couple, a few couples. And it's just crazy. Here's one more, um, Marina. She was 41 years old. And these people, at first, um, they were saying that they were dying because of this um, stuff they were spraying on the flowers in this particular resort, right? So, I was like, okay, I guess. But... I'm sure they weren't the only ones at the resort. I'm sure there's other people that work there that spray that stuff. That's around them more often than they were. Why didn't they die? Why are all these Americans dying? Um, and then what they were dying for just made no sense. Like one of the first um, few couples that died, the one that I showed you, um, Nathaniel and um, Cynthia, I believe that they said that they passed away um like minutes from each other like how does that happen like how does one person die and then a few minutes later oh my gosh he's dead and i'm dead like doesn't make sense and then they said that they're um they died from i'm gonna go back because i want to be correct about this because um i was told different things about how they died or what they reported okay because they, they've done toxicologies and everything on on everyone's death um, they said that Nathaniel had an enlarged heart and cirrhosis of the liver, right? This is pre-existing diseases and conditions. Um, and then with Cynthia, they said that she had internal bleeding, which included the pancreas. Excuse me? So how does that happen? Because now it's starting to sound real suspicious. Because one couple, okay, this sounds weird, but maybe. But continuously all these people. And it's so funny that no one from the actual DR, I'm not saying no one, but I'm just saying like, there's no reports of anyone else. Like, not only Americans go there, I'm sure, because it's a popular tourist site. Um, so what's going on? Like, are Americans being targeted? You know, they're, they're trying to do an investigation and see what's going on. But they just seem so weird. And I'm looking down because I'm looking at my notes. Even with Miranda, I'm trying to skim. I'm on the CNN website. They said they were selling, she was celebrating a wedding anniversary. And she drank at the mini bar. Then she felt sick. Then she basically collapsed and died. At 41 years old. Like, I just feel like something is very very suspicious and they have other people on here like david harrison of 45 robert wallace 67 um john cochran um died at the end of april in a hotel in dr um it says he passed away from what was believed as natural causes see now it's just make it's making no sense like people are not going to the dr knowing that they're oh, i only have three weeks and i'm going to the dr for vacation and end up dying there like this is no this is not no, like what's going on? People going for vacations and ended up dying. This other couple, um, I believe was either shortly after um, Nathaniel and Miss Day 
um, was vacationing there either shortly after or shortly before. They went to the DR. Something happened. They started to feel sick, both of them, around the same time. And instead of staying on their vacation or seeking medical attention there, they flew home and, seek, and came and got medical attention in the U.S. And they survived. Now, what they found out, I'm not sure, because a lot of the newscasters and, and, um, and what's out there with the information that people have, they're actually giving people now, um, they haven't really been talking about them that much, you know what I mean? Which I think should be a key thing to this. Um, if they were, in fact, poisoned, um, it could have been a poison where it couldn't come up after a certain amount of time or, you know, I don't know. It's just so much up in the air, it's ridiculous. And I just find it very strange. I'm curious to think what you guys think about the issue, you guys. I know people have been hearing about it and it's been kind of like skimming over the surface of the news lately, but it's over 10 people now. So I'm trying to figure out, you guys, what is going on? Like what is really happening? Even the first person I showed you, Joseph Allen, 55, he was from New Jersey. He died on June 13th. Um, at a Dominican um, resort and he said he said he told his brother that he wasn't feeling well um, he was with his friends at the hotel pool um, they said his friends told him to go shower so he went and took a shower and went out that night and then despite the fact that he wasn't feeling well he still went out that night with them and the next morning he failed to meet up with the friends and the hotel staff checked his room they found him dead um, but what, what else I think is funny is they're doing autopsies on these people, you guys. But they're not giving any information about these autopsies. Like, like even it says here, it says, Allen family is seeking to have his body returned to the U.S. to undergo an autopsy back home. Which means that he's still there. Which means that they could have been doing anything to him to cover up anything that they're doing. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know you guys like I just feel maybe I've watched too many of these like CSI movies and stuff but I just don't know I just have a feeling that whenever they get the body back and they do an autopsy they're not going to find anything you know what I mean they're just not and then most of them are like okay natural causes natural causes it can't be all natural causes all at the same time all most of them at the same resort in the same place you know what I mean like it just seems weird it just seems really, really weird. Um, but I'm, like I said, I'm curious to see what you guys think. I'm looking down, so I'm looking at the notes, I'm looking at people, and I'm seeing if I'm missing anything. Because every time I see something, it's because of whatever the news put out there. And it's, it's the information that the news is getting from whatever sources that they're getting it from. But we're still not getting any answers. Even the headline says, your questions about the Dominican Republic tourist death answered, right? but they're not answered nothing is answered and i tell you one thing if i had a vacation plan there which at one time i was going to i would definitely cancel it because nothing is being answered nothing is being put out there and it just sounds everything sounds so suspicious and i just think that not enough people are asking enough questions to the right people that's what i'm thinking but we will see you guys. I will keep you guys updated on that as soon as i hear anything if you guys hear anything comment below and let me know um but yeah you guys all i can say is just be careful watch your surroundings um try to keep where it's familiar um even if you're in an unfamiliar place try to keep to something familiar try to keep in a group um because people are usually stronger by numbers and that's all i can say today you guys because i'm, I'm really baffled by it all <laughs> but yeah you guys hit that like like button subscribe button the bell button all them buttons hit all them buttons right now because my channel is exploding and i need it to just zoom off okay this is what i want and what i need i need my channel to zoom off so i can get some more of you guys so you guys can feel me and see my personality so we can get in this summer kick i tell you what i can't wait for this new explosion i can't wait for things to come i can't wait for new videos and i also can't wait to december because i am definitely this year doing vlogmas but anyway you guys i love you and i'll see you guys later